Hi, my name is Jason, and today I'm going to go over setup modes for the Go Camping Hammock 2.0. When you open the hammock for the first time, you'll notice that the ridge line is factory installed to support the mosquito net. The ridge line is the gray rope that runs from one end of the hammock to the other. In addition to supporting the bug net, it also sets the sag of the hammock for maximum comfort every time. The ridge line works by setting the distance from one end of the hammock to the other. This in turn changes the way the hammock supports your body. Most experts agree that if a hammock is too tight or too loose, it's just not comfortable. Hanging a hammock with the same amount of sag each time isn't easy without a structural ridge line, so I recommend using one. To set up the hammock, clip the included carabiners to our quick link tree straps that are attached to sturdy supports. Or if you prefer, you can change the hammock suspension to our cinch buckle system. I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial on how to install cinch buckles. Net mode. Whenever the mosquito net is deployed, I recommend using the included stakes and elastic cords to pull out the bug net to create a large tent-like space inside the hammock. Use the included hooks to connect the elastic cords to the two mesh loops on each side of the net and tie the other end of each cord to a stake and drive it into the ground. I'll put a link in the description below that shows how to tie a marlin spike hitch, my favorite knot for attaching elastic cords to the stakes. Make sure to use at least five feet of elastic cord on each loop so the cord can stretch when it's under tension. The cord should have the minimum amount of tension needed to pull the mosquito net out. If they're too tight, it creates unnecessary stress on the mesh and nobody wants that. Convertible mode. From net mode, it's easy to flip the net over the ridge line and to stow it away when you don't need it. Simply unhook the two hooks on the zipper side of the net and unzip the zipper completely on both ends. Then flip the net over the ridge line and roll it up from the center. Use the three sets of hooks and elastic loops to secure the net. You can leave the two elastic cords staked out on the net side of the hammock, or you can disconnect them if you prefer. When the net is stowed away, it's important to enter and exit the hammock from the zipper side. Entering and exiting from the wrong side can damage the net, so please don't do that. Netless mode. When you know you're not going to want to use the bug net, it's easy to convert the hammock to full netless mode. Simply remove the ridge line from one end of the hammock suspension by loosening the girth hitch knot at the end of the ridge line and pulling it over the suspension loop and carabiner. Now on the other end of the hammock, pull the ridge line through the grommets so the whole ridge line is outside the net. Next, reconnect the ridge line with the same girth hitch knot to the other end of the hammock suspension and pull it to tighten the loop. Make sure the ridge line is at the base of the suspension loop where it meets the hammock. It should look like this. Now just close the zipper and flip the net over so the net is on the bottom. Now you can use it like a netless hammock. We have more videos coming soon, so if you'd like to see them, please subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.